what's up everybody it's uh tyler and tom we're gonna do a podcast today nice lengthy podcast sexy old podcast yep yep all right i have several things that we're gonna discuss uh right here uh first thing let's see what movies are you looking forward to that are coming out this year thomas is there a couple um, that you want to see? That have already come out or are coming out? Either or. Movies that are coming up soon or movies that have already come out. I know I want to see Godzilla. That looked cool. But I've heard mixed reviews about it. I've heard I've heard that it's good, but the beginning takes way too long to actually take off. Like, it's like three movies in one. Even though it's only two hours, it's just like, it's too much that I heard about it. Well. It just has... What about you, Tom? I wanted to see that movie. The one that you just said. Godzilla. Yeah. And the... I think it's called The Legend of Hercules. Looks pretty cool. Legend of Hercules? Oh. You mean The Legend of... Uh... Yeah, yeah. That's it. I think I saw that. I don't... It was alright. There wasn't a lot of... Uh... It just wasn't as good as I was hoping it would be. It was a lot of, like... Well, it wasn't a bad movie. It just wasn't... I feel like they, like, uh... Did a lot more work than they had to. Yeah. Like, for advertising and stuff. Didn't seem like the best movie I've ever seen. But maybe if I watch it again, I'll like it more. It wasn't bad. I, think, I thought it was kind of cool. Yeah. I wanted to see, um... Also, the uh, the new uh, 300 movie, where it's called uh, Rise of the Empire. Oh, yeah, yeah, That's yeah. That's yeah. cool. I, I never really followed the 300 series. I, uh, I saw, like, maybe the first one, but that was ages ago. And then I tried to rewatch it, and I got, like, five minutes in. And I was like, ah, I'm good. I'm done. What? I mean... It just seemed like something I wasn't really interested in. And it looked really weird. Yeah. I mean, I saw I saw a part of the movie once, and it didn't, didn't look too good, but it was okay. It seemed a little far-fetched to me. It really yeah. did. I mean, the movie, it was supposed to be good, but I don't remember. Oh, I know another movie I was looking forward to is uh, the next Hobbit movie. Ah, oh, jeez. Really? Nice things. Yeah, the next Hobbit movie, the third one. I forget what it's called. I think it's got to do with, like, seven armies or something like that. Oh, okay. I don't know. It might have the word seven in it somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> That's a lot. Yeah, no, I don't know what it's called. But I saw and loved the all of the Lord of the Rings series and... The Hobbit and uh, yeah, an expected journey and desolation of smog. I can't wait to see the third one and last one. I mean, the first two looked good. A lot of people didn't like. I think the second one. I don't know why. I thought it was pretty perfect. It made sense. Went along with the thing perfectly. I, I don't know if they liked the part where the dragon talked so much, but that's just them, you know. That dragon remind me a lot. About, like, uh, Deathwing. Yeah, Deathwing. Shout out to Deathwing. Yeah. Because, uh, I mean, they're both, like, the same kind of dragon. Just Deathwing was a lot of more metal and forging and crazy. craziness and pretty awesome. Yeah, Deathwing. Smog was more like just, uh, he was, I mean, he's cool. He's got a weird thing for gold, which, you know, whatever. But, uh, I liked it. Hey, man, dragons gotta have his gold. Yeah. Uh, let's see. What else did I like? Or want to see? Oh, uh, I want to see the second Captain America. I mean, the first one looks like it would kind of be a little bit better than the than the newer one, but um, the second one looked pretty good. Are you talking about um, a Winter Soldier? Or Winter Soldier? Yeah, that came out already, it's, right? I think so. Yeah, that's what I thought. 
I think it did. I don't know if it is. I don't know if it's up. I don't remember either. It might be coming out soon or already. I think came, it's coming I think. out soon. No, I think it came out last month. Maybe. I don't, I don't remember. I think it was like the four. Yeah. Something like that. Something. I have no idea. Let's see something else. Oh, Tom, have you ever seen the movie The Goonies? Yes. Yeah, that's what that. That's a well, that's a good movie, classic. Almost everyone's seen The Goonies, but at the end, didn't it make you want to be a pirate? You know when the spoiler alert. Um, you know, whatever. Okay. But you know, so the movie's like forty-five million years old, so you know. Fucking get out of the rock that you're living under. <laughs> uh, at the end, when the pirate ship is sailing away, doesn't that make you want to be a pirate? <laughs> it made me sad. First of all, I was like, "Aw, dude, I almost cried." Uh, yeah. I don't remember why it made me sad, because I can't remember most of that movie for the life of me. I only remember, like... I remember the pirate ship sailing away, and that made me sad. I was like, damn, I want to be a pirate. Dude, I... That movie made me want to be a pirate so bad. I think it made a lot of people want to be a pirate. Dude, that, that movie, yeah, definitely made me want to be a pirate. That movie was pretty awesome, though. I liked it a lot. Yeah. I think they did a good job making that movie. It was pretty good. Yeah. I mean, especially for its time, it was awesome because it had a lot of you know history, doing stuff like not history but childhood. Yeah, it had a lot. It, a lot of people watched that movie and loved it. I don't remember many of the people. I know the Truffle Shuffle has been. Everyone's been talking about the Truffle Shuffle forever. Ever since that movie came out. Everyone's like, oh, Truffle Shuffle, <laughs> and all that shit. Yeah. That was pretty great. It was. Really. <clears throat> Another thing that I wanted to talk about was um, <clears throat> the Nintendo Wii. Remember when they came out with that ages ago? Oh, yeah, that thing. That thing really, that thing was really supposed to do good for a long time, but it really didn't. No, no. I mean... For a while there, I mean, everyone has a Wii, so it did pretty good. But in video game sales, I really don't think it did very good. Because, I mean, especially in America, because, you know, we're, we're all, like, fat and lazy and yeah. shit. So we really don't want to get up and move around to play our video games. And we prefer a nice wireless remote that we can rage on and throw at shit and won't explode. Yeah. But I just think that, that... I mean, there was some good games for the Wii. Like, I got... What was it, like... I don't want to say, me I think it was Medal of Honor, something in honor, whatever. Some World War II game, and I really liked it. It was really hard, first of all. It took me, like, a thousand years to get past, like, the first yeah, level. Yeah, it was probably Medal of Honor. Yeah, I think it was Medal of Honor. That's also a diving movie, isn't it? I don't know. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's a diving movie with, uh, what's his name? Robert De Niro. Huh? Medal of Honor. I have no idea. Yeah, that's a good one. Pretty sure. I've seen it a thousand times. I think it's Metal Bonner. It might have been something else. Mm. Nah. Metal Bonner sounds right. But, um... But it was a fun game. I mean... It was hard. Like, you were, uh... Storing the beach in, uh... 1944, and you were trying to, like... Get past all these things. You did, like, hide behind a tank. If you didn't, you just get shot to death. And like, goddamn. Uh, and the tank was slow as shit. Was oh, fun. that one, yeah. Yeah, it wasn't that, like, Warfighter or... Rising Sun or something like that. Not Warfighter, yeah. no, no, no. That was, that's... No, that's the one. Well, a newer one. Um, I think it was... Wasn't it? Hold on. Let me check my... I got some Medal of Honor games up here, I think. Let's see. I know I never played many Wii games, but there was some way my family did. My uncle played a lot of Wii games. He had, like, the Zeldas and the, uh... Pretty much every game that came up for Wii, he had it. Especially the fun ones. Yeah. The real big budget ones. So those were... He had them all. Did they still make games for that at all? Or did it just completely crash what, and burn? Wii? Yeah. They still make games. I know they make games for the Wii U, which is just another thing that... I mean, when they first launched, they didn't have shit for it. Yeah. And it, I don't understand it at all. I'm not even going to get into it because I don't understand it. Well... Um... What was I going to say? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Well. <clears throat> oh. Let's get into games a little bit more since we've started talking about 
games. Uh, Watch Dogs came out not too long ago, didn't it? Uh, or I think did... it came out the 19th or... No, 27th. Yeah. yeah. Everyone was anticipating that. Like, that's a great game. That's I've seen some gameplays of that. That's pretty sweet. I mean, it requires a lot of brains, too. Like, you have to be pretty quick with the thing. Yeah. That, that game... There's not a lot of hints on what your current objectives are. Like, I know there's one thing, kind of also a spoiler, where you have to, like, uh, you're, like, stopping a crime, and this guy, like, creeps up on this chick down an alleyway. Like, you, you don't really see that. You have to get up close to them to even hear what's going right. on. It doesn't even really, like, it says to track them, but, you know, you lose her for a second, and then you're fucked. She goes down an alleyway, and you could be looking in the middle of the street, like, where'd she go? They mark it on the map sometimes. <clears throat> yeah, but who really pays attention to mini-maps anyways? That's no fun. Well, I do. That's no, no fun, That's though. the kind of game well, I, I am, because I pay attention to mini-maps. <clears throat> you don't have a mini-map in the game, sometimes I won't play it. I don't pay attention to mini-maps very much. I really don't. I get lost easily. So do I, but, you know, being lost is how you discover a lot of cool bugs and stuff. <laughs> But that game is also cool because you don't have to do, like, digital trips. Where, like, you can become, like, a spider. And you can, like, jump and crush cars and shoot things with, like, a Gatling gun or something like that. Or a minigun that's oh, on you. Cool. It looks really cool. I've seen a little bit of, little bit of a video like yeah. that. And there's also another one, I don't know its name, where you, you power your car up the souls of the dead or something like that. And, like, the cops are, like, demons and stuff and you drive around. Okay. That looks pretty what cool. Game are you for that? Yeah. That's still Watch Dogs. It's uh, part of the digital trips. Is it really? You, yeah, you open up your phone and there's like an app or oh, something yeah, like you yeah, get yeah, for yeah, it. Yeah, those. Yes. Yeah, those are those are cool looking. Yeah. Yeah. But they're for like single player anyway. You just run around becoming a giant spider. That's cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Just run around just like eating people's face is awesome. Do you know anything about the Halo series, Tom? Um, I, I know they're going to come out with a Halo 5. I don't know how good it will be. I saw, like, a little... I saw the trailer so, for it. Every game that I'm going to talk about, I've seen the trailer for. It looks really weird. Yes, indeed. Like, I don't I don't know anything about Halo, because I didn't really watch it. I mean, I watched Red vs. Blue for Rooster Teeth, because, you know, uh, it's funny and shit. I've been on Halo since uh, the first one came out, uh, Combat Evolved. Yeah, I never, I never played any Halo. I never watched any real gameplays of Halo. I mean... I know there's someone, Master Chief, and all these other people, and he's like, Red vs. Blue. Yep, it was pretty great. Yeah. You got your Master Chief, you got uh, Johnson, which is dead. He was like, uh, he's a Sergeant Major of the Marines. Uh, and then there's Cortana, and then uh, I forget the captain's name, but he died later on. Spoiler alert for that. But I don't, I forget which game it is, so you're safe. Yeah, I don't And I didn't say his name because I don't remember it. So, you know, this is Captain Guy. So, whatever. Oh, another game I want to talk about because it's actually one of the many games I play. Uh, Grand Theft Auto Five. I don't think they, they, they came out with the, uh, what is it, High Life update yep. the other day? No, like a month ago even. They added these awesome cars. A lot of people didn't like them. I mean, I know there's one car that I didn't like. Not the one because of the Z. I can't remember it off the top of my head. It began, I don't know, it looked just like the uh, Rapid GT, though. Yeah. It really does. From the back, it looks almost identical to the Rapid GT, except for you can put different spoilers on it. I see. It's fast, though. It's nice. A lot of the cars in Grand Theft Auto 5 are nice. It's a lot better than Grand Theft Auto 4, even though Grand Theft Auto 4 was kind of fun. It's a lot of fun playing it. <laughs> yeah, but if you have GTA 5, you'd have a lot more fun. Yeah. A whole lot more. I, one thing I never liked about Grand Theft Auto V was that the invincibility cheat only lasted five minutes. It's such a bummer. Like, I could get into so much more trouble if the invincibility was permanent. I would love to fly planes and just go on endless cop shootouts and stuff without having to worry about my five minutes being up. And then I'd be like, oh, shit, I have to find the cheat and type all that in again. And that's another thing I liked about GTA 4 is you pull up your phone and all the cheats are right there. I don't know why I didn't keep that. But, whatever. Oh, yeah. They just want us to make us work harder, I guess. I love that, GTA 5. I mean, I think that once they put out Heist, it's not going to be popular anymore. Yeah. 
they'll run out of things because people, you know, they've been looking for the heist for so long. If they put them out, what are people gonna wait for now? They're gonna they're gonna play it for a while. Like the ratings are gonna jump up way high. People are gonna have a lot of money. The economy is not gonna matter anymore, and they're just gonna stop playing GTA Five. Right. Almost all together. Did you? I mean, unless they figure something else out that makes other people want to wait for that to come out, save up money and all that other stuff. I mean, the highlight update was awesome. Yeah. They had that cool, almost Batman-looking car that you could pimp out with a tailpipe. Yeah, that was pretty. That was that was sweet. I like that. Did you? Um, I mean, what? Uh, did you see the new uh, the new uh, Battlefield? It's called uh, Battlefield Hardline, where you can play as a cops or uh, what are they called? Bad guys. No, I didn't. I did not see that there's a new Battlefield coming uh, up. I think they're sh- trying to raise money to get another Battlefield or something. I don't know. Somewhere. Uh, so they they haven't even started it yet. They're just trying to no, get no, money no, for it. No, no, no. They're using that for money. Like, they're they're doing it in between two battlefields right now. The new one that just came out and uh, another one. What's the new one that just came out? Was it four? Yes. Okay. Yeah, four. That didn't just come out. That came out a while ago. That well, like, well, it's, um, it's just days there. and thousands of years ago. Yeah. Then. Well, they're doing it in between. I mean, it's the newest battlefield. Right. They're doing it in between. Uh, in between games that they're making so that they keep the people interested in it did people that make battlefield make any of anything else i don't know it's a good question well you said in between games i thought you meant that they also make some other uh, type i was of just game. talking about regular battlefields uh oh uh, okay okay i don't know that's a good question they probably make other war games i mean battlefield was cool but i never i mean I never was really into the army like games anyways. It's just kinda of boring. It's like you just complete your objectives, that's pretty much it. Yeah. There's no there's no cool things that you could do, really. There's no side quests, there's no there's no like I don't even know. It's like report to this guy, kill this guy, whatever, done. Right. I mean I mean I was good at them, I could complete a war game in just a couple hours, but that's because it's easy. Mm. They had some World War Two games and stuff. I think. I think they, that was a lot of World War Two games. Those are sweet. They had a uh, they had a uh, Battlefield 1942. Really? A game I would love to play again was uh Big Red One. Was that Call of Duty? Yeah, yeah that was Call of Duty game. Two, right? Yeah. Big Red One. That was probably my favorite Call of Duty game to date. That was pretty sweet. It was awesome. I like the part where you're in the planes, and if if you didn't get in the turrets fast enough, the plane would just break around you could see bullet holes getting put in it and it just get to shit it'd be like shaky 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 oh yeah and i like how you could drop the bombs and all this cool stuff happened like yeah, yeah. it was really realistic like in most war games now if you get shot at while you're walking in between bomb bays or something like in that one like if you're walking between bomb bays you could watch other planes shoot at you and put bullet holes right next to you yeah. as you're walking from one turret in the front to one turret in the back or even the ball turret <laughs> I thought that was probably pretty sweet. Remember? It was a cool game. <laughs> Remember, um, what's it called? Uh, when you're in the dragon's teeth, it's uh, it's that like line that the Germans had to keep it out. Yeah, that's that's helpful. Something with a dragon and then a it's line right after, that the Germans it's had. It's the ending of the game. It's right after you uh, you go to um, the train station with the tank. You blow it up, and then you run out of gas, and you're like, oh, shit, fuck. Uh, I've got, all I remember, really, is that plane thing, because it's just, like, the funnest part. I played that every day, just over and over again. Because oh. <laughs> it was just so cool. I would hook it up to the subwoofer on my chair, and I'd just explode the house with me just shooting as well. <laughs> and it sounded like there's a war going on in my room. What what war was that supposed to be reenacting? Was that supposed to be reenacting Midway? Uh, I believe. Not Midway. Not Midway. Uh, what is it called? Oh shit! I can't remember that. Ooh. No, because the Battle of Midway was like Navy and shit. No, no, no. They were um, they're doing uh, I think it was. I think it was the one with the Brits in the uh, Germany. Yeah. yeah. The biggest air battle in the world. I don't remember what the hell it was called. Oh yeah. It might have been Midway. 
It might have been Midway, but it wasn't the one I'm thinking about. Like the biggest air battle in the world, World War Two, was completely different. I don't remember what the hell it's called at the moment, which is making me sad. Yeah. But I think in the game it was Midway because you were dropping bombs on boats, weren't you? Uh, excuse me for a second. Yep. Yeah. So I think I really don't know where that part of the game came but, from. But um, yeah, I think uh, what's it called? So um, I think I have a Wii game on uh yeah that uh is also World War Two related. I think I remember flying yeah. Yeah, you can fly planes, and, uh, yeah, you can unlock sweet planes, and you can become, like, part of these different, uh, whatever you call them, of planes and stuff, like these groups, whatever you um, call them. Uh, what was it called? The like Squadrons, bam, did it, kind of. Uh, I was gonna Fourth say terms, something. not familiar. Don't remember. No, well, you know, I cut you off, so, uh, yeah. It was a sweet game, though, that's the most important part. Yeah. Um, I think it was, uh, the Big Red One, there was, um, how was, let's see. Big Red One was for PS2, I'm talking about Wii, or no, PS2. No, 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 no. I got mixed up, hold on. There's a... Are you talking about the World War One game? Wait, was the first, uh, Call of Duty World War One or World War Two? Uh, no, because you were in trenches, I'm pretty sure. I think... But those also planes. I don't think they used planes in World War One. I. I don't remember, because... I don't think I ever played that one. Yeah, the first Call of Duty, because I got a combo pack when I first got it. I got uh, one and two. And one was too dark for my old ass TV. I couldn't see anything. All I saw was black things. I remember some guy yelling at me. He was like, get your lazy ass line and whatever. And you just like find ammo on the ground and start shooting at people. I'm pretty sure it was World War One because I remember a lot of trenches. But it might have been, a, you know, the beginning of a battle somewhere, you know? I don't yeah. know. I think, um... What's it called? And, um... Fuck. Uh... Well, you know... My brain just... Have you, uh... Have you seen any uh, gameplay for uh, Dark Souls 2 or whatever? Or at least any trailers? Because I saw... It looks cool. It really does. Dark Souls 2. Yes. Yes, I have. I mean, Dark Souls 1 looked cool, but... The, uh... Animations and the graphics weren't the best... But that's because it came out in like 2010 or 11. Yeah. And there's been a lot of changes and advances in technology since then. But Dark Souls 2 looks a lot cooler. I think I even saw a gameplay trailer and that looked pretty pretty crisp and nice. And uh, yeah, that's another game I can't wait to see and at least check out. Or and watch some gameplays on it. Because it's a really cool looking game. Have you seen anything on it, Tom? Dark Souls 2? Yes, yeah, you can run around with giant ass swords and slash giant ass enemies. It's great. Yeah, I don't know any of the story behind that. I really don't. Oh, uh, we have to play Dark Souls one to understand it. I haven't done that, so I don't, I don't understand it either. Like you're a knight and yes. dragons and demons and you're just cool stuff. You're just That's all I know. Slay shit, basically, and you do a bunch of like quests and stuff. It's pretty cool. Yeah, that's it. Well, you know, that's what I figured, but. I'm not too sure. So a little, little off. Yeah, that's perfect. Ben. Another, uh, I mean, I I tried to look at some gameplay of Dark Souls One, but I didn't really have enough time. I might check it out again later. Right. I didn't really understand it though. Dark Souls One. Oh. Never, never played it. Never seen any gameplay for it. But you know. Life. Oh, another thing I wanted to talk about was, uh, I'm going to skip that one. I'm going to go straight to Infamous. Uh, uh, Infamous Second Son came out. That looked, uh, okay. I mean, there was a bit cooler powers that you had. I don't know how it was really related to Infamous 1 at all, though. I mean, I played Infamous 1, and so did you. Did you see anything on Infamous Second Son? Well, well there was an Infamous 2, too. Remember that. Uh, infamous, infamous two, two. <laughs> I'm talking, no, 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 no. I, I meant there's an infamous two. And then I said meaning also, but I said two instead. Which one did we play? Was it two it was or two. just infamous? Okay. Are you sure? Yeah, you might have played one, this? but I've played two. I've also played one. I'm pretty, sure I've, I'm pretty sure I've played two as well. I played 
Well, Either way, I don't think that and Second Son are connected at all. Why would why I don't it, understand even the name of well, it. It basically takes place after that, like years after, I guess, whatever. After the beast went through, yeah. and you probably it's, slayed it in the end, and like never got another to another beast, but they added like something stupid. I don't know what it was. It's like someone had a concrete or something. It's really dumb. I don't know either. All I know is that they look like there's some different, sometimes a little bit cooler powers, and you could do all these other things. Yeah. I mean, it was it looked weird, but I'd probably play it. If I had the money for it, you know. Yeah, if I could afford it, I would I definitely don't. play it, but... I probably wouldn't play it for long, because I didn't really play Infamous 2 for that long. Well, I did for a while, oh. but that's because it was, like, the only game I had. You're, you're the opposite of me. And I was like, eh, why not? I played... It was fun, though. Oh, yeah. I mean, the graphics almost look identical to the Infamous 2, don't they? Uh, yeah, I'm just... Okay. And they're a little bit better, but they aren't much different. No, they still use the same same style. Um, what what was I gonna say? Uh, yeah, it it just takes place after. It doesn't really have anything to do with the second game or the first one. It's just mm. just there. I think it's just there to start off a new yeah new thing. But, uh, there's a lot of things yeah. I disliked about that game, and a lot of things I liked about that game. Yeah. On um, another game that I know that we both looked at when you were at my house was Shadow of Mordor, of yeah, course. Right. You know, the middle of Earth, Shadow of Mordor, that looks pretty sweet. Yeah. That's a game I'd definitely play. That's a cool story so far. I mean, what we watched in the trailers looks sweet. Dude. Like, there's a cool story behind it. I liked it. I'd play that game any day, any time. I thought the concept was cool. You know, with the where you could just like uh, take over people. Oh. You just run up and like suck their face make out, and worse. they would like start fighting for you. Yeah. That was cool. You can make like an army of orcs. That was awesome. Yeah. You could um. You could you could make them yours. Yeah, that was the name of the trailer. Make them yours with the weird witch lady. That was sweet. I thought the story behind it was sad. Yeah. That's good. You know, behind the whole guy, like, they killed his family, and I think they killed him too, right? And then he, like, magically came back to life, but he was, like, kind of evil, but then he wasn't. It was kind of like the Death Knights yeah. in uh, World of Warcraft. Like, he died and then came back to life, was supposed to be evil, then he wasn't. Yeah, he, he basically, basically, uh... He had his family murdered in front of him. He's like, ah, I'm gonna try to kill him. And my mom's just like, yeah, well, you know, they slay him. <laughs> was. I'm confused though. Is the Middle Earth a series of World of War. Uh, not World of War, of uh, Lord of the Rings related games? Um, I think so. I, I... Or, or is it just a long ass title for one I game? Because think... I think I looked it up once and I couldn't find anything on Middle Earth. I think one was a game at, or a movie. A movie. movie. Middle Earth? Yes. I don't know about that. I'm going to look it up. I know there was a battle really in Middle good. Earth. I think that's what it was. I don't know. Yeah, you should you should go look that up sometime. I don't know. We'll do it right now. Let's just search up Middle Earth. Alright. Alright, let, let me put in uh, game. Bam. Uh, come on, what up? What does it say right here? Oh, well, that makes kind of sense. There might have been a PC game, uh, called uh, Guardians of Middle Earth. Call of Duty World of War. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no. Yeah. I think there was actually. I think that's where, where I thought of it. Uh, Guardians of Middle Earth. I really don't know though. I just searched it up really, 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 really well, quick. The world will. Haha! <laughs> One wiki to rule them all. That's an awesome. The world may never know. One wiki to rule them all. Let's picture the ring. Dude, that'd be so cool just ruling them all. 
But anyways, yeah, Shadow of Mortar, that looks like an awesome game. I'd play the shit of that. I'd play it any day, any time. I would do it. Seems like a sweet game. If the graphics are amazing. I don't know. It'd be cool if you could like uh take over the uh what's his face's mind. What's his face? Uh um you know, the guy the guy who brings it back to life is the one with the the, the, the night uh, guy. Wasn't that the witch guy? Um I didn't see any part of that, so I don't know. Because I only saw a few trailers and see like yeah, in the trailers, I'm pretty sure the witch guy from uh, the you know the big crowny guy, magic guy from uh, the guy who uh, made the ring of power, whatever it's called. Uh, that guy did that to you. I don't, I think he was because in uh, the Hobbit they're talking about the witch guy coming back to life, which I, who I'm assuming. Yeah, because they say it. Gandalf says it in. Uh, uh, let's see, uh, Desolation of Smog, I think, when, when he was getting held up against the wall, he says Saruman, but Saruman is also the witch guy, isn't he? Uh, I don't know. I think he is. Yeah, because the broken sword was from, which one was that from? Because in, remember in uh, Lord of the Rings, there was a broken sword that they were all talking about, yes. right? That sword came from the crowny guy, right? I think so. S someone broke it from the crowny guy's hand? Yes. Or maybe, or what? Hmm. That might have been a different sword on uh, in completely. I don't know. It might have been. It might have been. Because in the, uh... In the Lord of the Rings, the first one, the crowny guy's sword gets broken, and that's why I think, because when they find it, and in The Hobbit, they're like, that sword belongs in the tomb of the witch guy, whatever his name is, like the witch king or something. <laughs> the witch king, the witch king. Yeah, not the witch king, the witch king. <laughs> it's not World of Warcraft talk yet. Not yet. That guy, that sword was supposed to be buried with him. I don't know if it's the same sword as in the first Lord of the Rings. Um because the Hobbit is a pre thing. So that might have been, that would have made sense if it was his sword. Yes. And then didn't they Oh, so that does make sense. Because that broken sword ended up in that statue's hands, didn't it? In one of the Elven Kingdoms in the Lord of the Rings trilogy. So. so that's when Gandalf delivered it in The Hobbit. I guess it stayed there and made it into the Lord of the Rings movies. That don't that makes sense though. Yes. So Saruman is also the witch guy. I guess so. Or maybe the witch guy, because the witch guy might have also been, you know, the those guys that rode like those weird dragon things that made that scary sound. Oh, those guys. And they also made that scary sound in the Lord of the Rings, not in The Hobbits, but in the Lord, oh, of, the Lord Rings. of the Rings. I think he might have been the lead guy of one of those. That could have also been the witch guy. Because I think when they were talking about the witch guy, they also looked at that one main screechy thing. Whatever the hell those things are called. I don't even remember. Honestly. I think... I think... Because Saruman was the crowny guy and the eyeball guy. Yeah. Or were those two different people? No, they're both. No, they're the same. They? I don't know. I think that. Uh, wait. Um. Hmm. I'm pretty sure they were the same thing because he couldn't reform himself, so he had to live as the eyeball. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yes. That was pretty cool. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure that the witch guy, the witch king, or whatever his <laughs> name actually was. The witch king. <laughs> yeah. Was Saruman, who had the broken sword, and all that stuff. What, how did that conversation even start? <laughs> Fireman, I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember either. I, I feel like, you know, I was obviously trying to prove a point, 
but I forgot what the point was. You're, you're saying that uh, the witch guy is the eyeball guy? Or Star oh, Mordor. yes, in Shadow of Mordor. Yes. Because he brought you back to life. And in Shadow of Mordor, they show him repairing the broken sword. Yes. Yeah, because it had some like magical powers on it. Is so yeah, the witch, you. the witch guy slash Sar Saruman brought you back to life after he killed you and your family in Shadow of Mordor, I guess. Yes. Didn't he trick you? And you got Seriously. his. And he somehow got his sword. Unless he didn't kill you, he just knocked you out, and you woke up some weird place. You know, I don't, I don't know. I haven't played the game. I've only seen the trailer. Maybe you need to. Maybe one of the sun is like, "Well, you're coming with me." Yeah. Well, I know. That's, I don't know. That's just what I've gathered off of what I've seen. Yeah. But I can't wait to play it. Neither can I. That, that's like. That's like uh, he basically kidnapped him. Is like, well, you're gonna be mine now. I thought he killed both his son and his wife. Ah. I know he killed the wife. He like stabbed her face in front of his face, and he's doing a cry. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he killed the the guy, uh, his son as well, because I think that was in the trailer. I think it showed the two bodies on the yes. ground, and then having a cry. Yeah, he was like, he was like, oh well, you know, and he started crying. And he was like, Ugh. and then he passed out. Right. He's gone. That's... And he woke up and he was like, hey, wife. Yeah, yeah. Like, it sucks. Yeah. Another game that I was thinking about talking about was The Order. 1886. Ah, dude. That game is really confusing to understand. It is. I saw the, I saw the trailer for it, and I just don't understand it. Well. There's supposed to be, like, this elite thing with half modern and half 1886 technology, because in the trailer, they show, like, a perfectly, they show, like, a kind of broken subway passing over their heads as the guys come out. And, like, I don't understand why I'm in the horse-drawn buggy if this is, this is a subway system. Yes. That's that's one of the many things I don't understand. And then there's, like, electric guns and... It's kind of, yeah, that guy has, like, a Gatling gun. It's and, kind of like Wolfenstein. Wolfenstein, I haven't seen anything uh, about that yet. Isn't that kind of like... I don't know. Wolfenstein looked weird. I saw, like, five seconds of a trailer of that, and all I saw was a giant robotic Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all I saw. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anything about that game, which is why I didn't put it in the list. Well, or Titanfall either, but that's mostly because it's a, a military kind of related game. Well, I mean, it is kind of sci-fi, isn't yeah. it, though? Titanfall, I don't, I don't know anything about that game. I've seen some gameplays of it, but really few. I know that this is an awesome multiplayer. Yeah, the thing is, but it's mostly it mostly just looks like any other uh, multiplayer army game, full of dickheads who just run around and kill all day, every day. And you just piss, get pissed off. The thing is, but that just looks like one of the. I mean, I'm sure it'd be fun to play for the first hour, and after that, it's like no, too angry and just break a remote. Well, the thing is with that game is it's um, we're talking about Wolfenstein, right? Uh, I went into a little bit of Titanfall, uh, but yeah, we can go back Titanfall. to Titanfall. You want to go back to Titanfall? All right, we can do that. <laughs> um, but what I was gonna say is yeah, uh, we'll go back to Wolfenstein. Wolfenstein. Later. Wolfenstein. Which? Why is it called that? Why is it called Wolfenstein? Is there a wolf in there somewhere? I don't think so. I don't remember. I, 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 I don't understand that. Playthrough for the game. I can't afford it, so you know. <laughs> but um. Yeah. It is. Anyways, <laughs> it's about the the Nazis taking over the world. That's all it is. Basically, we lost. They already did. They already tried that once. We go over, well, boom, done. Yeah, but it's basically like we we lost World War Two. Oh uh, yeah, that could have happened if you know, if Hitler played his cards right. You know, if he didn't go to Siberia and try and attack Russia, and if you know if he wasn't an idiot. I like I did. I saw the third part of that World War series earlier today. I didn't know that they tricked Hitler with blow up dolls. Oh yeah, I didn't know that. <laughs> that was like a like I've been studying World War Two and history for a very long time now, and I just never knew that they wasted General Patton's time and two hundred fifty thousand other soldiers' time 
by giving them blow up tanks. Yeah, that was good. Balloons, man. That was great. There's any videos of them walking over and just tipping the tanks over by hand. I was like, that's pretty funny. No, like, oh, well, shit. <laughs> they had all these guns and stuff, and Hitler still thought it was real. Even after the Allied troops already started to attack uh, wherever it was, he still thought it was real. He was like, nah, they wouldn't put General Patton over there. So he kept a million troops bayed for an attack that was never going to happen. And that's why another part of the fucking wars because he's he had too much of an ego he literally kept them there for an extra like 72 hours waiting for an attack that wasn't gonna happen even though people told him that they were being attacked already if he put those million troops over to where d-day or was going on and stuff then he probably won the would have won the war <laughs> all right he did all that so he just... yeah he was arrogant he really was and he was a bit loopy from all the gas he suffocated on in world war one <laughs> But, you know, gas will do that to you. Well, he also, um, he also got his rage because he was a loner. I mean, he caused a lot of other, uh, people to become just like him. Like, he was like the main part of that war. If he didn't do what he did, a lot of other people wouldn't have become, became dictators and all that other stuff just to take him down. (laughs) A lot of cool things happen in World War Two. That's why a lot of people study it because it's this really cool thing to study. Yeah. Anyways, back to video games. Titanfall, a game that I, I personally didn't like. Uh, but that's mostly because a war game, and I was never big on it. Oh. I mean, I, I would play him. I'd play the shit out of him until I won him, and then I was like, oh, well, that was fun. I wouldn't really play the online because it's just full of assholes that kill you all yeah. the time. Yeah. I hate that about online games. So it's like, nope, and they just fucking take. I mean, it's it's mostly in war games. If you go on GTA Five, I mean, there's a lot of it, but there's, you know, you can at least have fun with friends for more than five seconds before someone runs over and shoots you to death. Yeah. I mean, it's more like it's more like you know five minutes. You know, more than five seconds. There's um five ten minutes tops. Yeah. You know, ten minutes after that, you're just gonna get shot in GTA Online. Fucking stop sitting around being an yeah. asshole, wasting my time. Um, so uh. Titanfall looked pretty good when it first came out, but after that, no. It was just, it just got used to my eyes and just didn't look as great as it was when it first came out. It's a cool game. I didn't, I haven't seen a lot of gameplay for it, so I can't really speak too much about it. I'm sure it's fun as shit to play. I've, I've heard nothing about the, is there even a campaign? Because I've heard nothing about it. It was basically two online teams fighting. Okay, because I haven't heard anything about a single player campaign in that. All I've seen is multiplayer. Everyone says multiplayer, multiplayer, well, multiplayer. Well, the thing is with it is when you play it. Um, I mean, Titanfall is cool. I mean, you can do all this cool shit. You got like jetpacks, whatever, fly around. There's a lot of cool mechanics and physics to it. I would love to play it, but the thing is, I don't have the money for it. <laughs> neither do I. But the thing is, that's why you play Ghetto Titanfall, aka Hawken. <laughs> But that's laggy as shit. It is. It's fun though. Indeed, my friend, indeed. Anyways, you were saying something. Go on. Alright, so, uh, with Titanfall, there's, uh, the campaign. Really weird. You basically play on two different teams. You fight for something, and then, you know, it's done. That's one mission. Very informative, Tom. Very informative. I loved every bit of it. Yeah. I'm gonna drink some water while you talk to yourself a little bit. Drink some wine, alright. Uh, all right. Anything else on my list that I got here? Um, Tyler's in World War Two. <laughs> oh yeah, got. Uh, World of Warcraft. I haven't played that in a while. Has anything gone down in World of Warcraft? I haven't played that in like six months. Don't know. I know. Yeah, but you still played it for like a thousand years. That's I mean, cool that's content. a fun game. Old content. I what? don't know what's going on in that game at all. My sister was bragging. It was, it was like a... this and this happened, and I got this level, and I'm like, shut. My <laughs> little yeah. It was a fun game, though. I mean, if you really get into it, there's a lot of things you can do. It takes a wicked long time to level up when you get really high level. I mean, when you first start off, it's really, really boring, and I think that's what turns a lot of people away, is just being so low level. Because nobody drops any good money. The quests are stupid. 
and you just you're just weak. And the world is giant. It's a huge map. It's fucking huge. But it's still like not the biggest game in the world. Uh, definitely not. Which is weird, cause that game Fuel, or whatever, that was like one of the biggest game maps in the world. What one? Cause it takes like three hours for you to non-stop going ninety to reach the other what, end. Uh, what? What? What are you talking about? The game Fuel. Fuel. Never heard of it. Yeah, I think that's the name of it. Yeah, it's like Fuel. I think is what it was. Huh. I think that's what it was. I don't I remember never heard much. Of it, so. I got a bad memory, you know. Well, I'm tired, so I don't remember anything. <laughs> yeah, well, you know. But I know you played World of Warcraft for a while. I played it for a while. I mean, I used the Starter Edition because that's been around forever. Almost as long as the... I want to say almost as long as the real game has been around. They've had the Starter Edition. Yeah. But, um... So I got the Starter Edition back in, like, 08. Yeah. I to... And that's when I really started playing it. I mean, of course, I was a dwarf because they were Irish and awesome. And, no, they're, you know, they're obviously the coolest. But I also played as, like, every other race that there was at the time. Now they've kind of blown up with a lot of other things. Like, I I hate being, what is it, Draenei and Night Elves and any elf in general. Just, I don't play them. Right. They're just something I'm not interested in. Well, I guess. You know, I'll... I'd gladly be a torrent or a human or whatever. An undead is fun to be because their quests are pretty cool. Even when you're pretty... When you first start off as an undead, your quests are kind of neat. Yeah, I mean, for a little bit, they like, talk, they, like, talk to people and make them feel ugly and they, like, run off and cry somewhere. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. You're just like, you're ugly, look in this mirror, and they're like, oh, shit, and they go and cry somewhere. And then you get to, like, eat people. That's awesome. Yeah. That's, like, one of the first things you get to do, right? That's, like, your first... That's one of your first things you can do, right? That's, like, comes with your, uh, your undead people so. thing, right? You just run over and eat dead bodies and suck up their nutrients. And you can also breathe underwater, which is sweet. Yeah. Wait, can you breathe underwater or do you just last forever? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? You played the game for a thousand years. You should dead. know. Why not? I don't. You're dumb. You're a dick. They were cool, though. I liked their uh, main city there with all the, like, the uh, sewer acidy stuff. That yeah. was sweet. If, you, if you've ever been to, uh, I doubt you've been there, but Dalaran. If you've ever been there. I have no idea what the hell you're talking it's about. It's called Dalaran. It's a good place. What, what race is it affiliated with? Every but... race, alright? Every. It's Alliance they, it, or kinda... both. They have two different areas. It's basically a giant magical city. It's cool. And it's floating. It's on a floating island in the sky in North End. Right over there. The name rings a bell, but I don't think we've been there. I I might be thinking of another name. Uh, all the time. I think... Isn't there like a... There's something close to that name, but it's got it's affiliated with the uh, purple people, whatever they're called. It's called Darnesses. Oh, that's for the Jedi, right? No, that's with the night elves. Dear Wait, fact. which color were the Drenais? The Drenai are blue, all right. <laughs> oh, right, they're <laughs> bluish. They're lighter blue. Night elves were purple. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, night elves are the the fucking like the. Purple. I don't think I was it was ever night elf character. Uh, that's... if you're a purple druid, that means you're uh you're a night elf, right? <laughs> I don't know. I don't play druid. All right, either. so I'm a... Alright, I'm pretty sure I was a purple druid at one time in my I life. Because I remember, I remember jumping, I remember jumping off a tree named whatever you said with the weird Darnesses. letters and the a bunch of S's. Yeah, however you say that. And you got the achievement, right? You know, dinosaurs, right? Dinosaurs. Yeah, I did. Not dinosaurs. Yeah, it's like holy what? shit! I fell off a cliff. <laughs> How would you get dinosaurs <laughs> out of dinosaurs? You know, it's like saying it's easier to say. All right, I can like dinosaurs. All right. We'll go with that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Dinosaurus Rex. Yeah. Even dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> dinosaurs Rex. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. exactly. Well, yeah. Show me.
Oh, no. I'll pass a second here. What? That? I used to play, uh, what game? Oh, did you ever play Red Dead Redemption when you came from my ass? No. I want to say you did. I didn't. Yeah, you did. I remember you doing the cheat, you prick. Not this time, but the first time you no, came over. No, I remember you just slaying shit and showing me it, and that was it. What? Red Dead Redemption, or you think of Dead Island? Red Dead Redemption. I don't know, man. I'm pretty sure I gave you the remote for a while. Hey, let me play GTA cheese. 4 or 5. Yeah, I know. I let you play, like, half my games. I let you play my Dead Island. Yeah, I love that game. Yeah, you got you like rage quit within the first like ten minutes because you could figure out how to run. You're like, I don't want to run down a corridor, so you like quit. And then I played I for like quit. two hours just killing shit. <laughs> you killed. The you did. You gave me the remote, and you're like, I can't do this. Okay. Same thing with GTA Five. I gave you the beginning of the uh, story mode. I was like, have your fun, have fun with your own campaign, and then like five minutes, the first, the first like uh, not even the first. The second uh, mission that you have to do, which is just stealing cars for Simeon, you couldn't do that, and you had to give me the remote and make me take over. Because you couldn't drive a car down the street. I couldn't catch up to the... <laughs> I couldn't either the first time, but I still made it. Yeah, and then you got the remote, and you're like, wow. And you're like, five seconds. Tom, I, like, I remember when you, uh, you hit the motorcycle and you exploded. Yeah, that was stupid. <laughs> You're like, boom, and I was like, shit. That's because I don't think the, the game thought I was going to find a bullet, which I did. Because, I mean, you're supposed to use, like, Franklin's car, which is a little bit slower. I used the bullet, so I caught up with that stupid motorcycle right at the bat. And I, just, I hit the motorcycle so hard, it caught a fire and exploded. <laughs> that was... Dude, I, that, you know, sometimes motorcycles are fragile in that case. It just went boom, and I was like, what? That's a real smash explosion. <laughs> oh, I just came out of the bathroom too, so I, boom, and I was I like, "What?" Failed the, I failed the mission because that stupid thing was so fragile. It was all, it was supposed to be all souped up, so I was like, "Ah, oh, you know, I can obviously catch up to it." And then I caught way up too much to it, and I just smashed into it <laughs> at like a thousand miles an hour, and it exploded. Whatever. I'm over it. That's fine. I like a lot of. Grand Theft Auto Five. All of it is perfect for me. It's a really fun game. It is. Anything else that we should go over, Thomas? Um. Uh, while we're here. Should we? Should we uh, talk about um? What's it called? The movie Mama. No. Dude, that was, yeah. I mean, we can talk a little bit of it now that you said it. That was a cool movie, good horror movie. We don't have to go into it that much. No, but that thing was fucking creepy. It was creepy. It wasn't really like really scary. It wasn't. There wasn't even. There wasn't many jump scares either, was there? Yeah, it was. It was just the eeriness no, no, of no, it. No, there was one jump scare when uh, the kid was standing on the, the, the fridge, and the guy turns over and is like, ah, and it jumps in the face. Yeah. Wait, the detective guy or the, the person old man, in the closet? I think it was, or the other one. Yeah, the detective. Well, therapist. And then, and then remember, remember when you're like, don't open the closet, yeah. <laughs> lady, and she did. And she, almost, she got mama. She's like, ah, and she's like, oh shit. Sleep, yep. That, that movie, I'm so, I'm so afraid of uh, sleeping in the, the nighttime, dark, darkness. If I think, if I, if I think of that yeah. movie, if I hear like a noise, it's kind of like that. I'll literally smash my face in the wall and knock myself out mm. until I wake up. I'm like, no, and I'm like, oh. It was a weird uh, movie, Tom. Up and wake up, and really like, oh, was. It's scary. It is insanely scary. It was, <laughs> it was like uh, you, you'd hear you'd hear the noise and then you wouldn't see her for a while and then she'd come out and she'd be like, ah, and she'd be like, ah. It was a pretty it was good scary. movie. Was that was so was creepy. Well like her, her fingers were so long and hands and everything. It was scary. Dude. <laughs> if, if, if that thing was yeah. real... Or if Mama was real, it's in pretty life, creepy. I'd kill myself right now. I just, I just. I know. I, I would. Like, nope. I definitely not want it involved in my life. I'd probably just check in on the sand asylum. You know, just sit there. You know? I wouldn't. Nice squishy. She can't sneak in any closets. I'll just what sit there. 
in my nice little straight jacket, and I'll just curl up in a ball and cry for the rest of my life. Yeah, yeah. You know. Life. Well, the thing is, is what what if you... I'd probably just, like, explode my own tire. Like, I'd, like, shove it. water in the electrical what you do? Would you just outlet and just let the whole world burn. And, like, potentially kill yourself, or... <laughs> what I'd do is... I'd, That's uh, practical. Keep, uh, like, a... Uh, and you I know what, Tom? They probably all deserve to die anyway. My floor, my bedroom, and just blow myself up. <laughs> I kill everybody inside my house. I too. said they probably all deserve to die anyways. Is that thing real? What? Ben Steele, what? To die. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure it was hers. Yeah. They shouldn't have stole the baby. I don't know. They... Yeah, yeah, I know. That's what I said. She took it from the library. The library? No, wasn't. That wasn't a library. It was Mama's baby, you dumb. Yeah, but she shouldn't have taken it from the library. Yeah, the, the old, the old, old, old woman. So you're talking about... She took it? You're talking about when they the, took her from the baby from the shelf of that warehouse. Yeah. I forget what their name is. No, 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 Off the shelf yes, in the yes, warehouse? The, they uh, should have the done that. That was the right thing to do. Whatever the other person's name is. They took her. They shouldn't have taken the baby. Library. They shouldn't have that out. From a library. No. That's no, not where they got the baby. They got the baby from a warehouse. And they went and stole it from the guy's yeah, office the afterwards. Because that's where they originally got it. Sorry. Anyways, they had to give the baby back to Mama because that's what Mama well, was well, back for. She just wanted the baby that she jumped up the cliff with? No. No. Yes. No. I know, you fell in love with Mama when you saw what she really looked like. I was like, oh god, it's a good mixture between a shark shark and a platypus. I thought it was ugly and you thought it was beautiful. I get it. You fell in love with the Mama character, alright? We'll send her an email. It'll be fine, don't worry about it. No, it's that's what I just said. I wasn't talking about the ghostly no, no. thing. It, it, it was the uh, the person who plays it, right? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, Tom, no, that's no, kind of no, weird. Yeah, not the ghostly thing. I think it's about it's time to wrap this up, though. I mean, it's, almost, it's been pretty much an hour. She looked fine. I mean, I'm looking forward to uh, editing this in Dude. Lightworks tomorrow, first time, because we haven't recorded a video in forever. Dude, gonna put this one out hopefully tomorrow. Maybe I'll start saving it tonight. But there's been a couple moments where I paused the audio and not the your audio, so I'm gonna have to try and sync those up. So if it's not synced properly, I I apologize in advance. I don't know. Well, well, I don't know what you. Uh, I, yeah. What's it called? That's, What are you talking about, Tyler? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. <laughs> but so we're gonna end this uh, podcast oh, oh, here. Yes, I want to thank you yes. guys for watching. And uh, if you haven't good. liked and uh, subscribed already, please do that now. I mean, it only takes a couple seconds. You know, so, it would really help us out a bunch, especially if we grow a little bit more. And uh, yeah. if you guys want us to do more podcasts, we're gonna um, do it anyways, yeah. whether you want us to or not. But you know. It would really yeah. support us if you left us a comment or a like or a dislike, you know, whatever. Feedback is feedback, right? Negative or positive, I don't mind it. I mean, rather, I would have something than nothing, even if it's a negative comment. I don't care. It gives me something to read, right? Yeah. It gives me a good laugh. Share it with your friends or family. But, uh. <laughs> but, uh. Yeah? Yeah? Share the. Oh, yeah. Stop him in the stream. They came in. They borrowed a second of your day so we can uh, watch this even, real quick. Uh, some strangers. Why not? Right? Look at this video. You know. Yeah. Hey, with that. No, 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 no. What you should do is you should um do whatever you need to do, whatever you want. 
You want to wait? All right. So let's. Yeah, I'm gonna end the video yeah. now. But Thanks really for watching, guys. Video. We'll see you guys next oh. time. Bye bye now. Insane amount. See you guys.